play is present in all artists' work. We all artists play in one way or another. You have to kind of play with materials to see what comes out of it. It's a you know, experimenting is a playful act. But I think there are different types of play, and I'm quite interested in a specific types of forms of play. I guess that are less competitive and are more about um, using play as a way to bring things together that might be opposed or distanced or uh, alien from one another, I guess. My name is Adam James. I'm an artist. I live in Sweden. Uh, my practice involves making sculptures, um, sometimes uh, LARPs, which stands for live action role play, um, or I use that method for um, making performative works which uh, invite members of the public to be participants and players in uh, stories that they co-create and co-author and, and I design these, these sort of stories or these uh, experiences. And I make uh, sculptures and props and costumes which uh, are, are used to sort of populate these fictional uh, worlds um, and for the players to wear and then sometimes I exhibit those things afterwards as sort of works in their own right but, but often they have been used first in some kind of live event. I've been working with role play in one way or another for the last, I don't know, six or seven years, I guess. Um, but of my background, I, I studied fine art, um, printmaking um, in Brighton and at the Royal College of Art in London. So my background is in kind of print and thinking through process. And uh, over 15 years or so, I've moved from kind of making work uh, about real people as the basis for these performers. I would be looking for like outsiders within society and I'd kind of imitate them in order to sort of question empathy. Um, and in the beginning it would be me pretending to be other people and making the costumes and then over time that's moved into me working with other people and, um, and sort of taking on a more directorial role and that's kind of naturally led me to become a kind of games master or something. So a lot of my work now is connected to or related to play in some way. So thinking about how, uh, what kind of objects might um, instigate what kind of play, but but play in a quite sort of specific uh, way of thinking about play. So not play in the way that we play sports, not sort of competitive play, play more like um, in the sense of role play and how you can use play um, and fiction to kind of act as like a sort of bridge from one idea or place or group to another. I often work a lot with reclaimed materials or cheap materials or um, sort of non-precious stuff. Foam and um, plaster, mod rock, in, in making objects and then I cast them in, in rubber. Um, but I guess the thing that guides the materials often for me is like uh, two things. One is often they're going to be interacted with pe by people. Um, so I want them to be nice and tactile or not not going to hurt people essentially so so the weight of them is often important so they're quite lightweight another thing is i want them i want to be not upset if they get broken because that happens and if they're non-precious that's not such a big problem um and then also weirdly perhaps because of the way these kind of projects come about it's often the case that the work the, the objects don't have a life after the show or the performance or the use, so they kind of are like props. So it's more about um, how these things help make something happen with people um, and, and, the, and the objects or the sculptures or the installation is the kind of setting whereby something will happen. The objects in this show um, are from a, a few different works where I was using sculptural objects as the kind of uh, means to bring people together in some way or other. A 
so the objects are kind of made almost from like a child's perspective or sort of how you might see the world so they're kind of simple forms that invite interaction color palette that i work with as well that's often uh, reflective of like um, the kind of colors that you will find in like play spaces and also I'm really interested in colour theory and how different colours are used in different environments to kind of instigate different kind of um, psychological states. So those are some of the reasons why I use these kind of like pastel colours which I think are playful but also have this like nuanced meaning. I make scripts, play scripts and play prompts. So some of my work is not physical, it's just like a series of instructions or steps that you would read. Um, you might download or you might encounter outside and that invites you to kind of play in a way um, and then the role play itself of course is very much you know it's at its heart it's play a lot of my work is really me um, I'm a big, I play a big part of my own work. So whilst I make things and put them in places, a lot of the time things won't happen unless I'm there in some way. I've always enjoyed helping other people and seeing other people get into um, different states, I guess. So yeah, I facilitate play, I get other people to play and um, in a way it's like a kind of a byproduct of role play is that people might end up either empathizing more or having a feeling some closeness to a character that they've played or a setting that they're exploring which could be something very much based in the real world or it could be something very fictional the other kind of form of empathy or compassion is like between players just by virtue of the fact that you're being generous with yourself and you're exposing yourself and taking risks with one another and that's a supportive playful risky act and uh, that can only be done if you have a kind of contract between you which which and a space which affords and allows people to take risks and play and uh, be open so that's like another kind of way i suppose that like um, empathetic processes or notions or like states might be attained through or I, I'm, I'm interested in getting to that place in my work and uh, recent projects that I've done have been about doing exactly that like how can we use play to bring people together and get them to kind of um, reacquaint themselves with their neighbours or their communities um, which yeah at its heart always has to involve some kind of empathetic kind of process of putting yourself in other people's shoes and seeing things from their perspective perhaps Oh, 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 oh,